welcome. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube. If you are here for the very first time and know absolutely nothing about creating and building an online presence using YouTube, WordPress, and other social media, then you have arrived at the right channel at the right time. This channel is for beginners. For this video, you will need a hosted WordPress website. If you don't have a website and need a website, then check out the link that you will find in the description where you can save 40 to 57% off WordPress hosting in which you will get a free domain. If you are interested in a shared hosting package, then you can check out this link in the description. Once you are all set, this tutorial is in two parts. The first part I show you step by step how to install and set up the Ultimate Member plugin to help you to build membership sites in a WordPress website. I take you through a walkthrough of the installation and setting up of the Ultimate Member. This is a user profile and membership plugin, which is free. The second video shows you how to edit your default forms for your registration and your profile template, and how to add and set up different users and user roles. Just the facts, let's get down to the video. Before we begin, I just want to give you a little bit of information about the Ultimate Member plugin. The Ultimate Member combines a beautiful front end with elements that create a very powerful admin function functionality to make it easy for you to create user-based websites with word site with WordPress. Ultimate Member is the number one user profile and membership plugin for WordPress. The plugin makes it a breeze for users to sign up and become members of your website. The plugin also allows you to add user profiles to your site and is perfect for creating advanced online communities and membership sites. And this will enable you to create almost any type of site where users can join and become members with absolute ease. When you are building a free membership site, the way to create your membership site is to use a plugin called Ultimate Member. So you would sign in to your site, go to the left panel, scroll down till you get two plugins, and under plugins, tap Add New. In the search box, type in UM. And here you will see Ultimate Member User, Profile User Registration Login and Membership Plugin. You want to make sure that it is compatible with your version of WordPress and choose Install Now. You will then see this box change from install to activate. Right under the plugins where it says add new, it says ultimate member needs to create several pages. You will just click tap on 
create pages. This will then bring you into the settings. This is your general and you have your pages. You will make sure that each page corresponds to an ultimate member page. User, login, register, members, log out, account, and password reset. You will then save your changes. Under the general information, you will also see users. And here you want to choose your profile permalink base. So this is your choice. Username, first and last name, first and last name, first and last name with, and you can add different information. User display name, first name and last name, So you have the default WordPress display name, the nickname, the username, first and last name, last name and first name, and here you can see choose the default WordPress display name, automatically redirect author page to their profile. Yes. Enable members directory. Yes, these check marks mean yes. And here is use Gravatar. Yes. Use a Gravatar built in image. And here you have your choice default Mystery Man, Identicon, Monstrid, Wavatar, Retro, and Blank. A transparent ping image. Just going to go with default. Use default plugin avatar as Gravatar's default avatar. Require a strong password when user resets password only. So here you can make a decision. And then save your changes. Under the general, you'll also see account. And here you can follow along with me. Pause the video if you need to go back and check. So here you have your password account tab. You have your privacy account tab. You have your notifications account tab, and you have your delete account tab. Anytime you don't know what something means, you would mouse over this circle with the question, and it will answer your question. You can also have custom tab or custom text. And you can write something in and here is account deletion without password custom text add a first and last name field this is in the user account disable first and last name fields require a first and last name field. So if you require something, that means a person has to put it in. I just check, I take the check mark out. Allow users to change their email and a password is required to save account data and require a strong password. That so people don't go in and change your information that you don't want change. Hide profiles from directory by default. 
I can choose no or I could choose yes. The default is no. Save the changes. The next is your uploads. Now uploads is important because this is what will determine the sizes that people can upload. Profile photo maximum size. This sets a maximum size of a profile photo. Just going to leave that there. Profile photo thumbnail size. I'm going to start with 80. And hundred and twenty and a hundred and sixty. No, I'm going to start with eighty. This is a profile photo thumbnail, so eighty pixels or a hundred and sixty pixels or three hundred and twenty pixels. The cover photo, okay, so if the photo is 80, then the minimum cover photo between 300 and 600 is good. And you can change the image orientation and the image quality is 60 out of 100 image upload maximum width. So, we'll go with a thousand, and here we can go with thirteen hundred, and then save the changes. Next, we will go into the access. So do you want this site accessible to everyone? And you can also site is accessible to logged in users. And I choose the site is accessible to everyone. And you can put, in case you want to change it, some information and an emoji. Now, this is the Gutenberg, allow Gutenberg blocks restrictions options. So this is my message. And restrict access to posts. So here you can see restrict access to posts. So that means that you can post and also page. And if you want people to have access to also choose media. 
Now this is the taxonomies, which is your categories and your tags. I'm also allowing categories and tags. You don't have to. You can just restrict access to posts or pages. Enable the password uh, reset limit. And I'm going to go with three. Blocked email addresses. That's for when you start your membership and you have people who are spamming or causing a problem. You can then put their email address in here or the whole website domain. And blacklist words. So these are words that you prevent people from using as their username. And then you would save your changes. Now this is the updated video. I did a video in 2019. This is updated to the video that I've already created. Email. Here you can turn email on or off simply by clicking into this ear right here. And here you can turn it on or off simply into this check mark. And I just left a little bit of, I just put some information in here. I'm going to use an emoji again. And then save the changes. You see these here? These are meta tags. And then save the changes. Account activation email. Each time you click into a gear, you will see this box. You can choose this box if you want to activate this particular box. Just click in just another email that is sent that says, thank you for signing up to activate your account and then save your changes. And you can go through each one of these emails, see which one you want activated, and you could see the ones that are activated by default but you can activate anyone. And here is the information that will appear in the meta tags.
and do you want to use HTML for emails? And you can then choose save the changes. The appearance Now with this, you only have the default template. So you can only choose the default template. The maximum profile width. So this will be the maximum width the short code can take from the page width. So it's got 100 pixels and the profile area this is the maximum width of the profile area inside the profile so that's below the profile header so here do you want to use the field icons to show with a label or show inside a text field or turn off going to show with a label the profile primary button this is used for updating your profile the profile secondary button you can switch this on or off to display this in the form So the profile secondary button is cancel. The default profile photo. And here you can select a profile photo that will be put in place. So how about if I just use this as an example, and then this will appear as a person's profile picture if they don't choose to add one. And the alt text. Alt text is used for people who are visually impaired and also it is used as a, um, a place setter for the image. So I'm just going to put profile image. Just select. Okay, so this will be the default profile and here is the default cover. That's if somebody joins and they decide that they're not using a cover, they're not using a profile. So this will be what shows up. And then select. Here you can disable the the profile photo upload, the profile photo size. Just gonna make that smaller. The profile cover size. Just that. The ratio of the profile cover to the profile photo. And here you can look at this and see 2.7 is the, the average. The profile header meta, meta text icon. And this is where you can display field icons for related user meta fields in header or not. And yes, show display name in profile header. Show social links in profile header. Yes. Show user description in header. Yes. Enable HTML support. User description maximum characters. And here we're going to do 600. And the profile header menu position, the bottom of the icon or the left of the icon. So the bottom of the icon show a custom message if profile is empty and show the emoticon which is the side face 
and then save your changes. Your miscellaneous. Show an asterisk for required feeling, um, fields, yes. User profile title is display name and site name. User profile dynamic meta description, display name, site name, to view, display, okay. And then disable cache users profile. You can check this box if you would like to disable the ultimate members users cache. Enable Gutenberg blocks. Yes. And then here you want to check your version and make sure that you have the most up-to-date version. Enable custom table for user meta. You can check this box if you would like to enable the use of a custom table for user metadata. Improve performance for member directory uh, searches. You can check this box. It just means that you will be doing more, more work. Remove data on uninstall, and you can check this box if you want to remove all your data on the uninstall, and then save your changes. And then you can look at your install information. is your install shows you your site URL your home your hosting provider the platform browser name your role the version and your Pages configuration. Default new user role starts at zero, and I'm just going to go into that right now. So you would then see your all your information here. You can download the info file just by clicking in download. This is all the information that you've already set. If you choose to download this information, you just add the date and then choose where you'd like to save it and save your information. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. In the meantime, good luck with your membership site, and don't forget to join the new website that I am creating for affiliates for ClickBank, and Amazon, and ShareASale, and JVZoo, in which I will put a lot of information about affiliate marketing. You will find the link for the video number two, which shows you how to edit and create your forms and user roles. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.